Hello everyone, this is Art and Vital Gamer back with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team on the Game Boy Advance. Let's see what's in the mail today, Mr. Rook. Okay, oh, we got a D level mission now, finally. Okay, today I think we're strong enough now. We're gonna go rescue Dicklet. The thing I just have to say is like regardless of the outcome, like I'm pretty sure Dicklet can just like like even Skarmory's from terrorizing him. I'm pretty sure you can just dig and like Dicklet's dig. They can just dig underground. Like what's the chance of Skarmory digging through like mountains and mountains of like mountains of stone and dirt to attack Dicklet? Pretty sure it's Dicklet's today. This is fine. He's gonna hold out now, this is going. Additional jobs. Okay, let's get our loadout prepped. Wait, is it revive seat? Ooh, my revive seat. Okay, I have to buy it, unfortunately. Wait, I have 19 gold. No, I can't take this chance yet. I know I should normally buy those because I have preference, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough money to buy enough places later, so I need to switch my pockets up. Blast, blast. Apple, orange glass, gravel rock, sherry, apple. Let me just think carefully with the Two apples. For sure, two apples should be enough to help quench our thirst to the night more. An orange berry for healing. Two orange berries for healing. Two revive seeds in case we are butt spanked a couple times. A max elixir. And I'll fuck the rest of the stuff we've done. And Citical has an orange berry. I still laugh how my team is already a bronze level rescue team. Most rescue teams are like apparently I ran into in this game are all normal rank. A couple like this, like that's what the average rank is apparently, which means, wow, there's a lot of you guys, but y'all low tier fighters, which is kind of weird. Found steel. Meanwhile, my team's bronze. I think the other team, like, there's like one of our bronze team, I think, or one silver team, or a gold team. No plat diamond or Lucario teams. So I think those Christmas peak. That's right. Oh! Peak is ninth floor. Thank you for helping me very well. Let's go. Buy my max elixir just in case that I might need it for what I'm dealing with. Okay, to the ninth floor and pick up stuff along the way. Hopefully this Pokemon's here will provide a little bit more of a challenge for me so I don't get bored. Bubble! Ooh, super fragment, beautiful. That's cool. Bye bye. Okay, we're gonna fight our way to the top floor. That's our priority is this time. Can't dilly dally too much. The nine floors is a lot. Oh, an air one. Yep, steals weak against water. We're level 13. Yep. Every little bit helps. Let's go there. Why am I not going up? Hello, Baltoy. Face my water. Let's go as we move up here. Oh, oh, then take this. Yes. Airwan picked Barry up. Okay, I'm close to leveling up 392. Okay, I should be leveled up before the boss fight. Wow, I Airwan hits hard. I managed to do 7 damage to the wow. Is this the one that took the water? I might buy the bubble to Barry. Yes, it is. I'll take that. Okay, let's have to put it out. Put that out. Okay. 
Okay, it's dead. Okay, play arrow and switch tank for my melee attack pulls, but I need to stretch my abilities out. Ooh, money. Take that. Found steel. Ooh, see it. So how see this is. Ooh, blast deck come in handy. Gummy, finally! I haven't seen one of these in a while. Gummies are very useful. It not only does it boost your Pokemon's IQ, it also can potentially increase some of their stats if it's one of the gummy size compatible with them. And also expands your IQ ability so you learn more techniques. Increase up different strategies and more techniques you can leverage. I believe the white gummy is for normal type Pokemon. Super effective. Like right, halfway there. Ow. Yes, level up. Yes, level up. Three, two, yeah. Okay, every little bit helpful instead. We need to buff our stats up as high as we can so we can have a stronger team to fight. Okay, we're at these stores now. Hello, Beldum. Take my hit? Nope. Bubble. Whoa, a Tyrogue! A fighting Pokemon! Okay, I'll take this thing. You think it'll want to cover me, Super Quo? Yes, nice, one shot. How's my stomach constantly? I'm good on my stomach. My pocket's almost full. Shield dude. Oh, there's shield dudes now. Okay. Nope, shield is not showing up. Okay. Two day four. Besides, I'll come back to these dungeons later anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Help me. Yes. Just make the time around pockets. Look, look, Squirtle, Dick was over there. I still don't know how Dicklin ended up over there. I was one of confuses me. Like, where is like, how did the Skarmory pick up a Dicklin carry over? Which leads me to my most, uh, one of the most important questions people have always been asking about in Pokemon. What does a Dicklin look like underneath the ground? That is one of the questions, the seven wonders of the world type of questions that we may not know the answer to. Some people said maybe that's just a whole body underneath. Some say it's just a tube, which I still, like a little worm tube, who knows? I'm scared. <clears throat> Whoa, it's a Skarmory. What? What do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Dicklin. Skarmory, the up to is release Dicklin. How dare you? It's their fault. I haven't slept in days because the earthquake frightened me up every night we heard them. Those earthquakes are caused by the brats still running wild underground. That's not true. Well, it's true they have been many earthquakes lately, but it would take more than Dicklin's family going wild underground to cause an earthquake. That's just true. Unless that real master earthquake, you be quiet. We'll fight if we keep that up. It's no good. Skarmory's too agitated to listen to it. reason? We have to fight it out. Of course. Okay, let's see. Let's be funny. He's like, hey, quick. Hey, Skarmory, eat my wasi. Yay, it worked. Let's do this with other cheeky stick. I'm gonna take a bite out of this blast scene. It blasts you in the face. Wow, it more damage. Oh, we defeated them! Okay, I did not expect that. Well, wow. all I took was two blasts and a blast of fire. Not bad deal. I can't keep it. Up. I'll flee for now. Victory! 
Hey there, we chased Carmory off. It's okay now, come down over here. I can, I'm too scared to move. Okay, no problem. We'll come to you, just wait. Except, I'm pretty sure Squirtles and Cinderquills cannot fly. Jeez, look at this clip, I can't see the bottom. Squirrel, what do we do? We can't get across it. Oh, where you come from? Buzz, buzz. You're the magnet, we rescue today. We got word of this, we can rescue Dicklet in the sky. Buzz, buzz. Hold on to us, tight. Don't be scared, we won't make the mistake of zapping you. Buzz, buzz. And they magically teleport you because they can't show how a dick looks like underneath because nobody knows. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. You have feet? Yes, he feet? Yes, them feet? I'm mean, great, that's an important question. They have feet? Well, you're safe now, that's what counts. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Oops, she can't see us. That's terribly rude of us. Hello, Doug Reels here. Oh, Papa. Oh, it's Papa? Okay, Dick like, yeah, is worried. He's not hurt. Wait, he has three Papas? I always wondered that. Some of these Pokemon never understood. Make it never makes any sense. It was scary, but I'm all right. It's all thanks to Squirrel's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. You should be thanking our Mega Man friends. This rescue was impossible for us to do on our own. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. It was the only thing to do. And how both our evolved forms are joined trios, I feel a certain kinship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. You must be going, Squirtle. Is it Quill? Thank you. Very well. Bop, bop. Oh, we got 500 Pokeo! And a pack of scarf! And Jinxing! We'll be on our way too. Oh, wait, don't go away! What is it? Uh, would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes. We could have done the last job with everyone around, like you might. I thought we would need more help for doing rescues in the future. Squirrel, don't you think they still do? Yes, more members need, we don't need any help. Of course, I need more members! We can't do. We, we need to expand our company of rescue heroes. Will you join as members of our rescue team? Rescue team. That sounds fun. Buzz, buzz, buzz. But if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we could live in this area? Um, well. Oh, there is. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you, buzz, buzz. That's too bad. It looks like we need to find a place for Pokemon to live if you want, want something to join our rescue team. I know! Let's go out to Pokemon Square tomorrow! There's an interesting place called the Wiggly Tuck Club. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It should be open tomorrow though. It's next door to Felicity's Bank. Wiggly Tuck is usually there every day. We may be able to get some information. Okay, that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe to become a part of the Ardent Vital Nation!